Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing really really well. In today's video, I have a different type of video. I have like a review, is this like a review or like a first impression or more like a update video regarding this particular item. By the title of this video, you guys know, I will be talking about this kind of dupe bag which is very very similar looking to the Bottega Veneta bags. Yes, I'm wearing a green t-shirt which is literally matching this bag. Honestly, this green of color, like this shade of green is still my favorite color, even though um, maybe this color might be from last season or last year but I still really like it and I'm still gonna wear it. Um, obviously this color has been really really popular in the Bottega house. Um, when Daniel Lee created this color or this kind of shape of bags honestly I was drooling over these bags. So I had my eye on this particular bag, literally the exact same bag. If I can I'm gonna insert a picture on the screen. Uh, the exact same bag from Bottega last year and trust me you guys the price of this was around 600 pounds or 700 pounds and honestly I was willing to pay for that price because I thought it's a very very good price point considering it's Bottega and it's this really really good luxury quality of leather because I already have the leather pieces so I know the quality is insane and I was willing to spend that type of money. <laughs> However, I obviously was denying it and kind of waiting about it and thinking about it and then obviously they had to drop or increase the prices, which is obviously like a kind of standard thing that brands do or every company does every single year. So they had a massive, massive price increase and trust me you guys, the price of this right now is around 900 pounds, it's over 900 pounds, which is nearly a thousand pounds for this small little tiny bag and I'm like, no. I'm not paying this price point for this bag because this price point you can add a little bit more and you can get like a proper big bag from Bottega or from Louis Vuitton or from Gucci you know from Dior all the other brands you can get a proper big bag like a proper like um, even from Bottega they have the big kind of shoulder bags for men or for women which are a lot more like unisex even those you can get for over a thousand pounds uh, which are quite nice for this price for this small size, a thousand pounds, I'm like, no, I'm not spending that money. So I had a look on TikTok and on Instagram, speci specifically on TikTok, I saw a lot of people unboxing stuff from AliExpress or other known as Alibaba. <laughs> AliExpress. I went on the website and I stumbled across obviously all the designer stuff that I wanted to have a look or wanted to check out and I found this bad boy over there. Now this I found in multiple of colors in blue and black and white and red and yellow and a different type of green shade but I managed to get like the proper proper, is it called paraquet? Paraquet shade from this Bottega style. So I placed an order and the price, you won't believe it, the price was around six pounds with the tax was seven pounds and I didn't have to pay any deliveries or anything like that. And this came all around seven pounds. So place an order and the estimated delivery said over a month, a month, cause this comes from China. So okay, fine, if it comes from all the way from China, I'm willing to wait like a month for this bag. And eventually, after three weeks, or just about three weeks, the bag has arrived. It, don't, it did not even take a month. It came literally a week early and I was like, oh my God, this is amazing. It was packed up very, very small and very tiny. And I think I filmed like a first impression video, like an unboxing video over on my TikTok at Drama Blogger. So definitely go and check it out if you wanna see my first impression. Um, so I unboxed it and obviously I was surprised how small it was and here we go you guys. This is the bag. I have been wearing this non-stop. I honestly really really like it. Sometimes I like to wear this underneath my jacket. I really don't like to show off sometimes bag because obviously there are a lot of thefts going on in London. So I like to wear these kind of crossbody mini bags underneath my jacket which is much more secure, much more like discreet as well and also it has like this kind of pop of green as well when you wear the jacket on top so it's really really nice and I'm absolutely loving the color as well. Now in terms of the material it is not 100% real leather, it is in fact plastic, more like a pleather leather, like a fake plastic leather 
The quality is not amazing, obviously. It comes with a nice strap. You can't detach the strap or anything. However, you can make it longer or shorter by the clasps in here, which I found very nice. And obviously the back, oops, hasn't got any pack pockets. It's just like a quilted effect. And when you open it, it looks like this. Yes, there's some stuff inside I'm gonna show you. It looks like this. It is obviously like a, how would I say it? Like a layered fabric which is like woven in the middle and then it's stitched around in here so it's kind of kept its shape. Uh, the same woven stuff design goes on the inside as well. Basically there's no like lining or anything like that. Um, so it obviously has a metal closure as well which is also really really lovely to see. You guys can see it like that. Honestly, you must be thinking that uh, you won't able to wear this kind of color, but honestly, this color goes with everything. This is my favorite color to style with. This goes with the blues, with the navies, with the grays, with the blacks, with the whites. Um, yeah. And maybe with the browns or tans, depending how you style it. This color is very unique. If you see this color or see this kind of style of bags, you know it's Bottega. And I've seen like real, uh, the real version in store of this. And honestly, from far behind, it looks pretty, pretty identical like the actual Bottega bag and hasn't got a funny smell. It used to have a funny smell before, but now the smell is obviously gone. It's this fake plastic leather uh, material. So the smell is gone. Um, so yeah, actually, I'm really, really thrilled with this bag and I've been wearing it in tons and tons. And let me just show you what you can fit inside this bag. Now, you can't fit a lot, obviously, uh, where is my phone? You, you definitely can't fit your iPhone. Your iPhone is too big for this. Your, your iPhone, I have the iPhone uh, Pro Max and you can't fit this in here. So, I don't have a lot of stuff, honestly, because I always take stuff from the back out. I have my fragrance inside, which is quite nice. These are perfect sizes um, to put in your handbags. This is actually the Maison Magella Whispers in the Library. This is my favorite favorite scent and it's a 10 ml travel spray. And the good thing about these is once they finish, you can spray it with another perfume and you can refill it yourself. So that's what's inside. Very, very interesting. Let's put this in here because I don't want to break this perfume because it's my favorite. Um, another thing I have is a mirror. Uh, <laughs> this is a very, very cute one. Let me just check my thing. Yes. Uh, this is a very, very lovely mirror. I uh, got this from Prada. It's a Prada mirror. It says Prada in there. Really, really like this. And you can see yourself. Very small, very dinky, and very, very cute. And I like it. So that's my Prada mirror. And lastly, you guys, something very disgusting I have is a chewing gum. I have a very, very bad habit. Um, sometimes I buy those big tubs of chewing gum or I like to take some chewing gum with me on the go. All I like to do, I like just take a bunch and just put it in my bag and close the bag and I'm off to go. Uh, yes, I shouldn't really do that, but oh well. I can't be asked to carry sometimes the big tubs of chewing gum, especially it doesn't fit in here. So, oh, you can also put your wallet inside. Uh, this is my wallet. I mean, the wallet does go inside, but it's gonna be very, very tight. I put my keys inside and stuff like that. There we go, my wallet fits perfectly in there and all the space is gone, so you can't fit anything else inside in here. Actually, the main reasons why I got this bag is because I always wanted to try out AliExpress. I was always like intrigued to try how it works, how the procedure it works, how the delivery it works. Honestly, I'm really, really surprised with the delivery. Really, really happy with the delivery. No extra charges and no extra costs, and it came really fast as well, all the way from China. Obviously, the only downside is that it's not real leather and um, you can fake it till you make it. I mean, this looks amazing in pictures. I haven't taken any nice Instagram pictures, but imagine this, wearing this with this, you know, like a whole kind of, same kind of color. And um, yeah, it looks amazing in pictures. And also it does do the purpose. You can't fit your wallet, your card wallet, some cars, um, your lipstick, your lip balm, your keys, you know, chewing gum, you can fit good amount of things because sometimes I like to go somewhere and I put so much stuff in my pockets like small small little things like chewing gum, mint, keys, lip balm, all of these little things which are really really annoyed me so much and I like to have a bag like this where I can just put everything in one stuff uh, in compartment and that's me done. I don't have to fiddle around in my pockets because it kind of bulges and looks kind of weird. So having a bag like this it does fit the purpose and it does make it very lovely nice as well. So with 
would I recommend to shop in AliExpress? I mean, I would definitely have a look on the website and see what they have. They have so many designer brands in there. Obviously, they're not real, they're all fake, made in China ones, but if you don't wanna spend a thousand pounds on a bag, and you wanna just get a small simple bag that you can maybe wear even for a few months and then chuck it away. Not very good for the environment, but um, you know you know what I mean. It looks nice for the pictures and it does the purpose as well at the same time. If you look after it, this will last you for a very, very well long time. So I'm pretty sure even though it's not real leather, but the quality of this is very, very sturdy and hard. So if I like scratch it, even the scratching, there's no like color transfer, there's no like color coming off. It is pure, pure like this kind of color. It's not like dyed, color fabric on it so yeah stuff like this obviously bear mind on the website read the descriptions and see what the bag is made of and place the order because i'm pretty sure you will be also very surprised like how i am i wouldn't get any more colors or any more bags from aliexpress at the moment because i have my eye on something else which is coming up very soon next month for my birthday surprise surprise i don't know for which brand it is maybe <clears throat> So yes, I'm gonna finish this video up in here. Hope you guys found this video all informative and helpful. And I actually got so many compliments, compliments? No, so many comments on my TikTok saying that can you do a review or I'm um, like, can you tell us more about the bag and the procedure and stuff like that. So here we are. This is the full kind of procedure and review about the bag. Hope you guys found this all informative and liked it. So if you didn't, please give this video a like and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like these. Don't forget to follow me on my socials at Instagram and at TikTok, all at Rama Blogger. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, I will see you all in my next video.